Yes, you're welcome to my amazing video. Today I'm giving you a home tour of my home, of my village home. So this village, let me give you a, a brief explanation. This village is um, my dad's home and it means it's my home. It's where my dad grew up from. So I'm, I'm, typic uh, I'm actually typically showing you where my parents grew, my dad grew up from from childhood yeah but since a lot of stories they didn't stay here for so long you know back in the days we had war in northern uganda which happened for over 20 years so this place was left vacant but we have just relocated back to our land and i want to show you how we have started putting out our uh home state in this land so um let me start by we have put this first of all this is our bathroom and as you can see inside it's a bathroom so that is our bathroom look those stands are for putting uh your bucket of water one place is for standing you can't stand on the ground because you'll get dirty when you are bathing while standing on the ground so most of our bathrooms even if it being in the village because we don't have uh how they say maram and anything we don't put because we don't have cement we don't put our we don't base from the ground so i'm beginning to do this 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 home tour from the part of the garden all this is mostly full of the garden uh there are a lot of lands here we own about a hundred acres of land a hundred from our ancestors so uh, this is where we, 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 we collect water from. We collect water from this and we use it for our daily routine of washing um, washing and doing other stuff. But we have another water source where we get our, our we fetch the water from. So most of you have, who have been watching my video, I have ever come to this home village of mine. So it's not your first time to see it probably. So um so this is um the house to my uncle, my big uncle I call daddy. He stays in this house. He's the biggest uncle and the biggest daddy in the compound. And this is the granary. So this granary we normally um store with the foods. We had to um, remove everything from the granary and the grass and cover it because uh, it's still planting season and we haven't harvested anything yet. So we want to make it well. We, want, we need to close all these open parts before we close it fully. But every typical African home has, um, has a what? Has a granary. It's a must. There is no option. Of you not having you cannot explain to me that you don't have um, a granary so this is this tree is called the Kalakak the Kalakak is one of the oldest tree in the entire village and this is where um, our forefathers had some they had some spirits here and they used to worship it here but uh, they're no longer there, so don't worry. But they're no longer there. Um, but this tree, I'm just trying to give you a brief history of this tree. And it's the biggest, as you can see, it's the biggest tree all over this place. So we cannot cut this tree because, uh, first of all, it it indicates uh, it 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 is used to mark the land. It is how we trace back this land uh, after we lost it for very many years. Uh, so this you see here is where the chickens sleep. The chickens naturally are supposed to sleep on top of the trees, not under the, not 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 inside the houses, because uh, because on, because they want they have to stay physically fit. That's why our local chickens are so fit, because they have to stay inside the on top of the trees. They climb the trees. They give them a way to climb the trees, and they stay fit throughout. So that over there is my 
uh, elder brother's house as you can see they are already situated situated at the entrance or far away from the home state because they are to protect the home state this is for my elder brother this year is the art for my grandmother the mom to my parents the mother to my parents my dad so this house this is if you have been watching my video my grandma passed on a uh, good months back with 100 and with 109 years eight years sorry 108 years old so she was living in this art before she passed on so I have a very great memory of this hat, of her. Whenever I see it, I remember my 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 grandmother. May her soul rest in peace wherever she is. She has lived a life, and she has. I wish to be like her. Ayalusia, mego Ayalusia. The the great I can have the great mego Ayalusia because she is a very big uh, inspiration to all of us, and we. Have though she is not there our spirit she lives within us um the good spirit of love and togetherness still lives in us so uh this house is the kitchen that has already been uh no one is using the kitchen by now but they have shifted because the house got somehow it was small but it's the kitchen this is our kitchen where we cook from uh the other house over there is another compound that's another house for the that's another house for my uh for the another elder brother of mine that stays over there and there's another homestead another elder brother who stays so the elder brothers are staying all far away from this home another one who stays far away from there i'm going to go show you the homestead uh so you can see what i'm talking about they are stay, they stay far away from the homes inside the homes as most of the uh the moms and the dad so our our home here we have um our parents are not practicing so much of of polygamy they have one one wife so each one family has one wife so so as you move and go uh, so let me explain in a typical uh homestead in Anacholi land a mango tree is like a mask it's a mask for you to have a mango tree so back in the days when they had war uh, and we ran away from our homes because of insecurities when we came back to look for our homes after over 20 years the only way we could trace back our lands was using the mango trees uh, and that's a, that's a big significant also here with us in a chili land and we have oh, wow it's a chicken chasing <laughs> and we have one and we have we have every homestead has a, a mango tree every homestead has a mango tree so let me take you to my so this is our garden and we are planting there cassava let me show you so this calabash i'm carrying i was using it for um uh, see what is inside the calabash this is our handmade pancakes. We don't use flour, we use cassava flour. Because back in the days there was nothing like wheat flour here in northern Uganda. So we use cassava flour for making this nice delicious pancakes. I have a video making this pancake so you can go and check it out. Oh, this is cassava. And we are trying to weed the garden of, of this cassava. So I'm just going to take you guys to my um to my uh to my other brother's home house. The hut we just passed before that I forgot to inter to tell you that is where we sleep. That is our hut is and it's where we sleep as the cows. And the men have their own some of these men have brought like this brother of mine uh that I can show you from here. He has already brought a wife. He has a wife, so the wife. The wife. Um, that's okay. That's why the the homesteads look the way it is, because the 
uh, when someone has a wife, the first thing when they, when they bring the wife, the first thing the wife was, did was to build a kitchen. Because that is our office, work office here in the village. The first thing she did was to build a work office. And I'm going to show you. They are playing music, they don't want to go to school. So as you can see, that is the house. The house, uh, the house for my older brother and that's the kitchen. So uh, I don't want to go so near because they have music around there and I don't want to remove. I don't want to deal with copyright. They are having, they are playing their radios. So let me just go. So this is my, my other wife. This is the kitchen. See how clean the kitchen The kitchen is very organized. As you can see from inside. And this is the kitchen for my the wife to my to my brother. And this is their main house. So this is the radio. Let me show you this radio. So the world of the uh, you see how they connect it uh, for uh, it to charge. Uh, Let me show you the bathroom. 